What's up guys? I'm Amanda of Tanical Burnett and welcome to my channel. So I'm coming at you guys with a plant haul a week early. I know I usually do my plant hauls the first week of the next month. I have something really exciting planned for my next video, so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna forewarn you that July was one of those months that I kind of didn't stick with my wish list. So last week, I hadn't bought any plants. And I'm like, okay, I only have two weeks left in July before I have to show off all my plants and I haven't bought anything. To be honest, I haven't really seen a lot of plants that I've been wanting. So I put a poll up on Instagram uh, like a week ago and I was just basically like, hey, like what plant should I get? And I wound up not even getting any of those plants, but it gave me an idea for maybe next month. So in August, I might get the plant that everybody pulled for, but I, uh, I got some pretty awesome plants that were on my wish list, but they are plants that I had to get. In a moment of desperation, I went to Lowe's and Home Depot and I'm like, okay, like, let's see what I can get for my plant haul because I had nothing. I wound up finding two plants. One of them I already had and the other one was a plant that I've been wanting to get, but it wasn't really something that I absolutely needed, especially since I'm only really trying to get plants on my wish list. So Unfortunately, this month I didn't check any plants off, so I'm gonna be a little behind. These plants are so awesome, and I also was gifted another plant that I'll show you at the end of this video. So if you have not seen my plant hauls, basically here's the rules. Every month I try to stick with a $50 budget. I have plants on a wish list that I try to check off every month and basically just gather up plants that I really want versus just getting whatever I can for $50 like I did last year. So this year I'm really just focused on getting one to two plants a month. In true plant haul fashion, I'll show you what plant I got first and then the last plant was the last plant that I got. And then at the end, I will total it up so you guys can see the total. And that's basically it, those are the rules. Let's get into it. Let's see what the plants that I got for the month of July. So the first plant that I got for the month of July is this Philodendron Brazil. Look how big it is. Guys, look at this beautiful Brazil. Like, and the leaves on it. The leaves are so big. I have a, I have a Brazil. I have a, like a smaller one. So you guys probably saw this hanging in my window behind me in the beginning of this video. This plant was one of those plants that I saw. I was torn around Lowe's and I was kind of like looking around and they didn't really have any plants that I really wanted. I did see a neon pothos that isn't on my wish list, but I almost grabbed it just cause it was like $5. It was just like a small, like three inch pot of neon pothos. But I was like, nah, I don't, I don't really need a neon pothos. So I just saw it and it looked cute and it was only $5. But as I was leaving, Lowe's has these racks that have hanging plants on them. And this was in the center rack. So there was plants kind of basically hiding this philodendron Brazil. And I was like, I saw it. And I was like, oh my gosh, there was another one that I almost got that was longer, but not as full. So I wound up getting the fuller one just because like, I know this is gonna get long eventually. But like, guys, this plant is so beautiful. Like, look how the leaves are so big. Like I've never seen a Brazil with plant with leaves this big. And can I tell you, I got this plant for $15. $15, that's all I spent on this big, big plant. I wound up putting it in a hanging planter, just like a random macrame plant hanger that I made. And I just put it up in my window. It's a perfect addition into, I don't know if you guys realize this, but the new location that I film in now is my bedroom slash office. So it hangs right over here in my like office area and it is just 
so beautiful. Honestly, I don't get any work done because I'm staring at it all the time. But I just got this plant a week ago. Really all I've ever done with it is I just gave it a good treatment because you never know with plants at Lowe's and Home Depot if they're covered in pests. Always treat your plants when you bring them home, no matter where you bring them home from. Treat them, please. Thrips, it's thrip season. Like it's been thrift season. Be careful when you bring home new plants. Make sure you thoroughly clean them and quarantine them. This isn't really quarantined. It's kind of below like my, can't really tell it's like oversaturated over there, but it's below my new umbrella plant that sits in the window. And then I have a little monstera that sits over there too. So it does sit above all that, but it's really not anything that I can't control. So if this does have any pests on it and they get pests on it, then I only have three plants I have to treat versus if I threw it into my plant room, I would have a whole mess because there's like a hundred plus plants in there. This Brazil is just absolutely gorgeous. I had to get it. I know this is a plant that I already have in my collection. It was just one of those impulse buys and one of those things where I always do this. My dad told me to do this whenever I would go shopping just cause I'm like an impulse buyer. And he was like, if you want something, hold on to it, walk around the store. Think about yourself if you left the store without it and would you regret leaving the store without it? My answer is always yes, but, but I was like, you know what, I had to. And I kind of thought that way with the neon pothos. I was like, I don't really need a neon pothos. I haven't really seen them that readily in like my plant shops and stuff like that. So I was kind of excited when I found it, but I'm like, you know what? I really don't need to. This is almost like, I mean, this is like heart leaf and neon all together. So like, I just, I could not pass this up. It's just too gorgeous. I just, there's no way. I would have, I would have literally gone back the next day if I didn't get it because this is just, there's no way I would have been. I would have, I wouldn't have been okay if I left it. That's the first plant that I got. Again, I got both of my plants for this haul in one day because I was like sort of desperate and I was like, I need to get something to show you guys for July. I got the Brazil and then literally down the road is a Home Depot. So I was like, all right, let's check out the Home Depot. Let me see what they have. They actually had a lot more plants than I thought they would. They had a Crimson Queen, Hoya, and even a, a Crimson Princess, which I haven't seen in like big box stores, but they had like a whole bunch of them. They were still kind of expensive. They were like 30 bucks for a six inch pot, which I guess that's not bad thinking about it now. But at the time I was like, I don't really want to spend $30 on a plant that I already have. $15 was fine, especially as big as that plant was. But I was like, let's get a better plant. So one of my wishlist plants is a Monstera and Sony Eye. Um, I had one last year and it wound up getting thrips. When I had thrips, literally ransacking my entire plant collection, I did lose that plant. I did save a couple cuttings, but then they wound up rotting after I planted them. It was just a mess. So I lost that plant, but I almost got and I'm now kind of, you know, like with the Brazil, I was like, oh, I should have got it. It was the weirdest combination you've ever seen in a house plant. So I don't know if you've ever gone to like Home Depot or Lowe's and you've seen those like weird combinations. This was a orchid that had Monstera and Sony Eye cuttings in it growing together. And I'm like, their care routines are a little different. So I'm like, Whoever buys this plant, please separate them <laughs> because there are times where I've seen like, like uh, I've seen Calitheas with like succulents and I'm like, no, <laughs> like what are you doing? So I don't, I don't really know what, what these people who make these combinations are thinking. Maybe they're just like, you know, maybe they're kind of, hoping that they separate them, but who knows? I mean, I, I don't think a lot of people do. A lot of people won't separate them, but that was also $30. And I was like, I really don't, <laughs> I don't know if I want to dive into having a orchid again. I had one for like five minutes and it died. So I was like, 
but I've been doing a little more research on orchids and they're starting to actually get a little more popular. I've seen them popping up on my Instagram feeds more, so I don't know if they're making a comeback, but I pass on that and I'm a little sad that I did, but I'm happy with the plant that I got. So I was kind of looking around. I had the orchid in my hands and a lady passed me in a like with a plant in her cart. And I was like, I gotta get that plant. And that plant is a burgundy rubber tree. Okay, I can't show you this whole plant and I now spilled dirt all over my pants. But like, look at this beautiful burgundy. This ficus burgundy is the best looking one I've seen at like Lowe's or Home Depot. I just also knocked over my Brazil. Give me one second. Back to the plant. <laughs> so this burgundy ficus is just <sighs> gorgeous. This big boy cost me $25. $25 for this big plant. Like I was just going crazy with like common house plants, but plants that I actually don't have. Like I don't have a burgundy ficus. This plant is just something that I've been wanting for a while, but a plant that I just haven't seen. I've seen like little ones and they were like around the same price to be honest. But this one was one of those situations where I just had to grab it. I had to buy it. And I know this sounds really funny, but I noticed this one leaf that had a very small variegation. So I don't, I don't expect this to be variegated. I already have um, the variegated version of this plant, but I was like, I have to get a burgundy rubber tree. That's just like the standard, like easy house plant. So I was happy to grab that plant. Um, that plant actually sits in my plant room. So it gets a decent amount of light. I had to really scrub the leaves when I got it because it was just really hard water stained. So I just did like a mixture of like neem oil and water. And I find that that helps out really well. Um, I did um, learn in my last video that um, you can use vinegar water too. I don't know if I'd rather have my house smell like vinegar or neem oil. <laughs> So I was like, well, I already have the neem oil mixed. So I just kind of gra gravitated toward that. I do find, I don't know with the vinegar, but I do find that the neem oil, you do have to like really scrub it. But luckily these um, leaves are really like, they're kind of, they feel like a Hoya leaf. They're very kind of thick and waxy. So you can really just scrub on them versus like a plant with fenestrations. You're gonna rip that poor plant if you do that, so you have to be a little more careful. So those are the two plants that I got from Lowe's and Home Depot. Kind of more of a big box plant shopping haul. And then I got, so this is kind of segueing into my next video. I'm going to be doing a little fun surprise, but I also am going to be doing a kind of an air plant video so stay tuned for that. I was gifted these two beautiful bundles of Spanish moss. Look how lush and beautiful that is. Like oh my gosh. So I have two separate bundles. This bundle actually sits on a hanger in my plant room and it just like trails down like so beautifully. And then for this one, I attached a wooden ring onto it so it can actually hang on my wall in my bathroom. From what I've learned, Spanish moss loves high humidity and bright locations, which is perfect for a bathroom. These plants hang really pretty and they kind of, my husband said they kind of like seaweed. So my, um, my little uh, bathroom kind of looks like a cute little mermaid seaweed jungle. They're so pretty to add to your collection. The color on those are just impeccable. And I can't say enough how much I love that air plant shop. It's just so good. The quality of air plants that you get from that shop is just amazing. So I'm gonna be doing a little video on the air plant shop 
for my next video. And again, I have a little surprise for you guys at the end of that video as well. So stay tuned for the next video. But let's talk about the grand total for this haul. So all the plans combined, I wound up spending $40. Really not that bad guys. Under my budget again this month. So you guys should be proud of me. I stayed within budget. Although I didn't get a wishlist plant, these were kind of, I mean the burgundy I will say is a plant that I've been wanting. It just wasn't one that I thought to add to my wishlist because it was just kind of a plant that I've been kind of eyeing, but it wasn't like a plant that like I'd be super sad if I didn't get by the end of the year. But it's a plant that I've been wanting to add to my collection for a long time. So I was happy to get that. And then you guys, I mean, you guys saw it. You guys probably cannot blame me for getting that Brazil. The other Brazil I have is long. It, you guys saw it in a couple of my videos, um, but it's long and pretty, but it, the leaves on it are so small. I'm hoping that that doesn't happen with this one, but if it does, it's totally fine. I mean, I'm here for the, the variegation on that anyway, but yeah. So that's it for today. Those are the plants that I got for the month of July. Stay tuned for my next video and let me know in the comments what plants did you get for the month of July. Let me know if you got any fun wishlist plants or anything like that. But that's it for today. I hope you guys all have a great day and stay botanical.